graphics cards are an extremely influential piece of tech. It boosted the advancement in the video game market. It helped to start the age of 3D graphics and films. The technology ke ke keeps getting innovated in new generations like any PC component. A graphics card or a video card converts the graphics instruction from the CPU or central processing unit into pixel data representing the pixel. A pixel is represented in RGB, red, green, and blue as 3 bytes in the VRAM in, in the graphics card. Also, a 4 byte is used for transparency. In the past, CPUs drew the graphics sequentially, pixel by pixel. This means to draw complex graphics, it needed a lot of time. But with a graphics card, it spe is specialized to draw graphics. Inside the graphics card, there is the GPU, a graphics processing unit. There's also VRAM, which basically stores the pixel data. Also, there's circuitry that converts the data into signals, i.e. HDMI or display form. These days, there are integrated uh, GPUs into CPU. They're basically a core that gave for graphics processing. This worked pretty well. An example is APUs, which isn't as powerful as a distinct GPU, but powerful for an integrated GPU. A GPU is like a CPU, but it has more cores than a CPU, i.e. MVSQ cores. All GPUs work in the same in a similar way. Each core is meant to do geometry or calculate all of the coordinates. And the graphics cards are specifically designed for graphics. While as the CPUs are more general purpose, CPUs calculate other information other than geometry, like addition, subtraction, or multiplication. That's why you can't use a graphics card as a CPU because GPUs are only meant for calculating geometry. Now let's talk about the frame rate. To determine if a GPU is good enough for playing games or rendering, the frame rate comes into play. Frame rate is calculated in FPS or frames per second. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the game. The minimum frame rate to trick our eyes in thinking that it's a moving object instead of a slideshow is 15 FPS. Our eyes don't run on FPS, but a higher frame rate, the more realistic the game or video will look. That's why people buy monitors with higher refresh rates. Refresh rate is basically the frame rate of a monitor which is calculated in Hertz. For a better frame rate, the GPU needs a higher clock speed. That's why overclocking the GPU gives you a better frame rate. Also, more cores will also help with the frame rate because the GPU can't divide the work more efficiently. Now let's talk about VRAM. VRAM doesn't affect the frame rate. It basically stores graphics data. For a higher resolution, i.e. 4K, you need more VRAM because your graphics card needs to store more data. Now let's talk about graphics architectures. There are two main companies like that make GPUs and, and NVIDIA. NVIDIA released a new architecture with their 10 series GPUs called the Pascal architecture. AMD on the other hand uses the Polaris architecture, which is also new. Uh, these architectures can be explained in a separate video. An architecture is how the graphics card is designed. Companies like MSI or Asus, who distribute the graphics cards, makes graphics cards of both architectures. It makes sense for these companies to do that because of the high market for graphics cards of both architectures. This is a basic explanation of what a graphics card is. More videos about the visual parts uh, of graphics cards coming soon. I'm uploading this to my main channel so I could get views. I, mean, I was going to up make a secondary channel, uh, that's what everyone told me, but I'm going to upload it to my main channel so, and uh, I can see how many, pe many people like it. And also, uh, uh, this is also something slightly different from my previous content, so yeah.